Good morning, my little explorers. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. It's science time and I want you to be ready to explore the world. Today we have a lot of things to talk about, so please get ready, set properly, listen carefully, and also get some papers to write the day and date. So what is the first thing we usually do before starting the lesson? The first thing is to write the day and date. Remember this. We need to do it every time we have a new lesson. So everyone, please, who can help me and tell me what's the day. The day is Tuesday. Well done. And what's the date? The date is April 7, 2020. Well done, everyone. So before moving to the lesson, I have something I want to talk to you about it. So if you go to uh, nature, you can see um, or you can feel the beauty of nature because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, created um, you know, the earth and put on it, um, you know, let me say, uh, mountains and rivers, lakes, hills, and a lot of beautiful scenes. And today we are going to talk about this. So we can call it landscapes. We can call it landscapes. I want you to, um, to look over here. I have two pictures and I want you to think about what can you see or in another way let's say describe what can you see so I need your help I'm gonna give you some time and I want you to describe what can you see I can see a, a lake okay so there is a lake over here and I can see trees and mountains Here's the mountains, and here are the plants and trees. And I see houses. Okay, well done. So let's move to the second picture. I see rocks. Rocks. And I think so that's sand. Excellent. And I see water. Okay, so everyone, what I want to say is, um, if you look over here, you can see some high areas and some low areas, and plus flat areas. High areas, um, like mountains, and here in this picture, the rocks, and flat areas like the sand here. And here also plants. So we can call these landscapes. Landscapes. So everyone, let's go over here to talk about the objectives. So by the end of the lesson, I can identify slopes or slants. I can organize, recognize, recognize the difference between high and low lands. I can locate slopes and on, on a landscape. Well done, excellent. So here we have two videos and I'm gonna skip the first one, I go to the second one, but I want you to watch two of them. So click on the link below. So let's watch the video. Our landforms by Dinaz Lakandwala. Landforms are features of the Earth's surface. There are many kinds of landforms found on Earth. Mountains are tall areas made of rocks. They have pointed tops and steep sides. Hills are mounds of land with a rounded top. They are shorter than mountains. Valleys are areas of lowland that are in between mountains or hills. Plateaus are areas that have a flat surface and are higher than the land around them. Canyons are large cracks in the earth. 
formed by rivers or an earthquake. Plains are large areas of flat or gently rolling land. Deserts are areas of dry places that get little or no rain. Islands are areas of land that are completely surrounded by water. Oceans are large bodies of salty water that cover three-fourths of the Earth's surface. Rivers are large streams of water that flow into a larger body of water. Lakes are smaller bodies of water with land all around them. We went over some very important landforms today. Now let's do a little quiz to see if you remember some of the landforms we just went over. I am a low area in between mountains or hills. What am I? I am a valley. I am an area of land that has water all around me. What am I? I am an island. I am an area of land that gets no rain and am very dry. What am I? I am a desert. Landforms are important features of the earth that are important to remember. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot about landforms.